Hi, Shay Given here. You're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. This is our after match reaction from Bohemians 1, Cork 1 in the semi final of the FAI Cup. Uh, Johnny, what are your thoughts on the game? I'm cold. It's fucking cold. freezing. <laughs> um, yeah, winter season's really kicking yeah, in really now. It's really kicking in and we need to get the terminals back out again. Um, it was the first match that we've been at where you, you know, that big summer winter change. The game itself. Um, Let's not try and glass it up. It was a horrific game of football. I thought it was it was a lot of heart, a lot of effort and all that in, in it, but um, quality was very, very much missing. Um, good atmosphere, one of the best atmospheres I've seen in Delhi in quite a while now. Um, whole fans full, very good away fans as well. Um, the game itself uh, is a draw fair as well, probably not because Bowes are probably slightly the better team without really creating a lot. So Until until about probably the last ten minutes. Yeah, once they got the equaliser from the penalty, um they kinda of pushed on and they had a cup you know, almost a handful of chances to nick it. Um but yeah, on on the parts of on the overall if you look at it, Bowes are probably gonna be going home the more disappointed this evening. Yeah, definitely. I think I kinda what's just really set the tone was you know, when I mean, you're looking at the lineups, I thought, you know, I thought Caulfield was coming out look, really looking for the win, although I was kind of shocked to see Graham Cummins on the bench. Although big, big Cork, Cork fans, uh, Aaron obviously does our graphic signs and met him before the game, and he was delighted that they, they really aren't uh, fond of him at the moment. But uh, yeah, Bowes, it was very, very dull first half. Like There wasn't a lot of chances till the very, very end where um, I think yeah. it was Devani yeah, hit the post. Was absolutely smashed one from about 25, 30 yards, absolutely cracked the post. Um, it's funny, yeah, but other than that, I was halfway through have a conversation on how there's absolutely no quality in this game, and then he does that, uh, and it's and then it's half time. Would have been an absolute worldie, but it would have been so far exclusion from the rest of the game. The game, if it even if it had gone in, um, yeah, it was just I don't know. It was like a, it was an end of season league game, not an end of season cup game. If that makes sense, it was. I don't know, quality was just very very much missing. Yeah, there, there wasn't a, there wasn't a lot of. Um, you know, chances, but I thought the tackles were flying in and it was a very heated oh, contest. Oh yeah, yeah, of course, there was a lot of effort, um, you know, as you said, tackles going in left, right and centre. Uh, the crowd were well up for it as well, you know, every tackle was met with a big roar. But, just th that quality was missing and they, they, they make the what, balls kind of start the second half quite aggressively. I think they had two chances straight away, just after half time. And you thought maybe this is them going to push on a bit. Um, the, the, the goal comes if you want to have a little chit chat, but I, I thought Bowles started that second half quite well. Yeah, they, they did, and obviously it was a lovely bit of play down the left hand side. I think it was Devani who, who delivers the the final ball into Dini Corcoran. But uh, the left side, I, I like the link up play between um, Lee and uh, Devani. But uh, you know, and, and Dini Corcoran does what all good strikers do, gets himself in there and f finishes off the goal. I mean, he didn't have a lot um, of effect on the game or anything like that. Um, but you know, obviously he turns up when 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 he's needed, like all good strikers do. But I thought Shane Supple for Bowes, he was was fantastic. He made numerous uh, amount of you know saves that ultimately could have easily went in. I, I, I remember one chance where it was uh, off someone's head. It was the Glanston header, and he got down uh, low to his. I think it was his right hand side. Yeah, there was a couple. There was, a, there was a couple of those after Bowes took the lead, wasn't there? Those kind of half chances that sometimes go in. Um, there was one with McNulty as well in the first half when Keith, Keith Ward was, was through from the right hand side he, yeah. he, he saved quite low as well um, Supple was probably despite Bowes dominating the game is probably a bit too strong but Bowes being on top for most of the game yeah. you'd probably argue that Supple was probably more worked than than Nulty was yeah I suppose so Like if I was to look at a man in a match it would probably be for me it would have been Shane Supple and it's kind of bizarre in that situation because, as you say um, you know Bowes look like more of the dominant team but I just thought for you know any types of corners or, or balls that were whipped in because we know Cork have a lot of quality whipping balls in like sadly has one of the best right foots in the league um, but you just see him like whipping in balls and Supple was you know coming and collecting everything that might be due to the fact he obviously with his GA background and stuff like that 
that uh, he's used to them high balls coming in. But a lot of keepers in this league do struggle from those, those types of balls. So uh, that's that's simply because of that. I mean, I thought to, to cap off a perfect performance from himself, I thought he would have saved the penalty and that would have, you know. But I think as well as that, you know, if I was a Bowes fan, I wouldn't be too disheartened. I mean, you, I know they're on that massive run of unbeaten games, but even still, I mean, you have to, if you if you said to them at the start of the season that they were going to be in a chance to uh, get into the to the FA Cup final. Yeah, it's it's one of those. They were so close to like what eighty seventh minute was the penalty. So close to to seeing it out. It was Which, a silly penalty. To it was. Away. It was stupid. Like it, there was, the Bulls fans were very very upset about it and very animated at the referee at the time and after the game as well. But for me, like I remember saying to you, surely that's a pen. Like it was wild. Yeah. There was no need. To, it was so wild high such a stupid thing to do in the box at the time there was no need to do it at all and I thought it was a stonewaller we'll watch it back a couple of times a bit more um, when we get home and warmed up but for me it was a stonewall penalty yeah I thought so too but uh, one all kind of in retrospect because the cork for the I suppose last 20 minutes you know really went went at them and uh, I know Stephen Beattie went down injured he looked like he had a, a horrible injury but I uh, hope he like wish him gone, isn't it? Uh, yeah, wish, wish him well, well and uh, hopefully he has a speedy recovery but uh, overall, I thought you know one all was a was a fair result. Um, it'd be interesting to see what happens now at Turner's Cross, and uh, yeah, I think that's kind of it really of our match reaction. Yeah, I just want to say one thing that was we tweeted at the time, which was a which was a classy, classy touch. And sometimes you realise there's more things important in life than football. But the uh, Ginger Mourinho and only one Aaron Tully um, chance from the home fans through the second half there was just a classy, classy touch. And, you know, it's it's kind of a bittersweet moment because you cannot help but think about oh I would have met a, I would have met Owen at the, or not the game tonight. Um, I'm sure he's looking down smiling, but yeah, no, just just wanted to touch on that. It was a, it was a very very classy touch. Yeah, I think uh, not either in and around the time he passed or just after the past if they've, they've been on that run. So um, yeah. maybe, I don't know if you believe in spirits or anything like that, but um, maybe his spirits uh, living in through the through the players there and they're, they're putting in the extra effort in honour of him maybe but uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments um, did you think it was a penalty um, fans obviously won't yeah, think that yeah, but this do be, let us know this could be a very location based decision yeah. <laughs> but uh, let us know if you watched the game on TV as well uh, let us know your thoughts um, was it a was fair it, result yeah and I'd love to know as well I hope we haven't got a chance to watch it back again another thing that the home fans were going a bit crazy about was right at the end before the referee blew full time it looked like there was a bit of a, a decision to be made in the in the in the in the cork box, uh, if it was a pen or not. Yeah, give us your thoughts on that as well. We haven't got a chance to watch that one back yet. Who'd be a referee? Who'd be a referee? Yeah, not, oh, me, well. not me, anyways. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you soon.